Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another classic arcade game for you. And check out what we've got in the back of our store right now. This is a 1982 Williams Moon Patrol. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? So we figured we would film a little video of it. We don't actually own this game. We're just repairing it for a friend of ours and getting it going. But it's so nice. I thought, you know what? I'll film a little video of it for YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, Moon Patrol videos on YouTube, but um, I've never actually played Moon Patrol very much. I played it once or twice, but I never really uh, got into it. So we're going to play it here in a minute and see if I'm any good at it. Probably not. <laughs> now, I always say, like I just called this a Williams Moon Patrol. So if you look at it, it says Williams Moon Patrol. It is a Williams Moon Patrol, right? Because I always come from the the arcade side of it, so I'm thinking about the actual physical game, the entire machine. But over the years, a lot of people have grown up, you know, without the arcade games, and so they're more into like Mame, or you know. So they would say, "Well, that's not a Williams Moon Patrol. Irem made Moon Patrol, and that is true. They developed it, but they licensed it to Williams, and Williams actually made the cabinet and the." artwork and all of that stuff so to me it's a Williams Moon Patrol but it's if you if you've only played the game played the software which I suppose is more important you know the game is more important than the cabinet then you might say it's an Irem Moon Patrol so cool art it always reminds me of what's that game for the Nintendo where you've got the the, the uh, it's not a boy and it's oh Master Blaster it always kind of reminds me of Master Blaster so it says Williams Electronic Inc. Moon Patrol, copyright 1982. And if you look, that's this really cool gradient. See it? The way they screened that. It's got, it's got an artist signature up here. I wonder who that is. Maybe somebody could tell us if they know. We've actually had some of the developers of some of the games respond to our YouTube videos sometimes. Maybe the developer will. Now check this out. This The sides were stenciled on the early Williams games. There was only like 9 or 10 games back in the day. Williams games um, in the early 80s. And they were all in really cool cabinets. They're plywood, which sounds cheap, right? You go, oh God, they're plywood. Well, we've got an Asteroids here. And it's not plywood, it's particle board. And so you can see on the back, see the water damage? Because it got wet, and the stuff just crumbles away. Now, it's an asteroid, so I'm not going to disrespect an asteroid. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's an Atari asteroid, it's an awesome game. But the plywood cabinet is much nicer, actually, because this thing has probably also been wet. Um, as a matter of fact, I know it has. Look at the top. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark in here right now. See the lip on the top? The top is particle board and it's, you know, it's messed up. But the sides are plywood and they're in near perfect condition. So plywood is good actually. So some of the games that were plywood were all the Williams stuff, or most of the Williams stuff. And uh, Miss Pac-Man was plywood, Pac-Man was plywood, and they hold up. Donkey Kong was plywood. Some of the greatest games were actually made of plywood instead of uh, particle board or MDF, whatever they call it. So, uh, anyway, what I was going to say is these things are stenciled. The, the early Williams games were stenciled, so they would hold up a stencil to it and spray paint it in the factory. And you can kind of tell. See the, see the bleed over? Like, see how rough the edge is? Because that's over spray, right? So that's where it seeped underneath the stencil a little bit. You know, that's a classic sign that it's stenciled. Plus, you can just kind of tell by looking at it. Um, so since it's stenciled, they can't make really delicate stuff. Like they can't make really, really tiny art. It has to be just kind of big stuff. So because of that, they wanted to put a trademark on the name because they trademarked the name Moon Patrol. And so they put a little sticker on it. So this one still has the sticker. So there's a little TM trademark sticker. And then down here on the Williams logo, you know, they put an R on it. I guess because it's registered. So, 
awesome side art. Just has that that cool look from back in the day, right? And of course, as you can see, it's up and running fine. Um, we got these from a, from a friend of ours, and he bought them from someone, and they weren't in very good condition, so he wanted us to kind of work through them a little bit, so we rebuilt the monitor. And one of the things that we did was we put a new control panel overlay on it. So we got this from Arcade Shop, um, which we love those guys. We bought all kinds of stuff from them. And uh, it's really nice. Now, we're not sticklers on everything being perfect, so I don't know if it's a perfect reproduction of the original. It looks close enough to me, but, you know, sometimes... Some people get all bent out of shape if the font's a little different or something. I don't know if this is perfect like the original or not, but you can see that it actually does have the... Uh, what, are they, what did I just call that a minute ago? So you, you know what I'm saying here. That's a color, that's a color, and that's a color, but that's two colors. You see what I'm saying? So they've, they've actually done that, and it's actually... You see down here it's more of an orange a gradient isn't that what it's called and then up here it's more of a yellow and they kind of go together so it's you know very high quality stuff in my opinion might not be perfect though but we think it came out really nice look at that man that screams cool got the coin door lights working good of course and the Williams games all had a little tiny door at the bottom it's a little dark in here so you can't see one of our look at this one of our lights these, we've got these old fluorescents in this building. And the one right above the game is messed up. Come on, man. But it is what it is. Also, this marquee had a big four on it. We didn't know why they put that on there, so we left it on because it's kind of neat. And anybody can take it off. So if they don't like it, they can take it off. <laughs> but the controls are very simple. Jump and fire. And it's uh, ambidextrous, I guess you would call it, when it's on both sides. And if you go to the left, you go slower. And if you go to the right, you go faster like uh, Ricky Bobby. Is that his name? <laughs> One player and two players start. They have these cool glass bezels. But it's real kind of dark because I think... I don't know if that's tinted. I think it's got a little bit of tint on it. Um, but those bezels are hard to find for a Moon Patrol. So if you've got one that's missing one, you're screwed. Let's read the instructions. Insert coins for credit. Press one or two players start. Okay, I'll do that. Objective, reach the five goals. Points E, J, O, T, and Z. I wonder why they... Hmm. I wonder why they chose those letters. I mean, they're in order alphabetically. I don't get it. As quickly as possible. Control speed with the joystick. So basically, you're trying to get to the goal. Earn points. You fire at the UFOs, which are above you, because you've got a gun above you, right? The rocks, which are in front of you, and other obstacles. Jump over craters, rocks, and other obstacles. Reach goals in better than average time. Okay. Reach five goals for bonus points. So five goals would be the, uh, the end of that course, I believe. To continue from same point, Start new game before time runs out. Extra patrol car at 10,000, 30,000, and 50,000. One play is 25 cents. So what a freaking awesome looking game. Man, they look cool. So what I'll do is I will set up the tripod and then we'll play it a little bit. Like I said, I've never really played it. I've played it once or twice just for a couple of seconds. So I don't know anything really about it. Um, I'm not any good at it. <laughs> so we'll see how it is for a novice. But pretty much that's what you get on every video on my uh, channel here. Because uh, I'm a novice on just about every game. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I can fix them. That's kind of cool. Let me set up the tripod. Okay, so we're going to play through it a little bit. I wonder how loud we've got it turned up. Alright, so there's saucers. Looks like they bomb the road or bomb you. There's the C checkpoint. Alright, so I guess there are things on the ground 
guy came up behind him. I guess there are things on the ground, and you just want to get to E. So A, B, C, D, E, I guess it would be in order. Moon Patrol. All right, let's see if it's loud enough. Oh, no, it wants a coin. I've got the, the the keys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay for it. I wonder if I can easily raise the sound. Probably not. All right, folks. You're just gonna have to live with the sound how it is. Oh, another thing I should have mentioned. When the lights are out, look at the control panel. So on a, on a Williams game, they were very well designed. So this is the bezel in front of the game. And up at the top is the marquee. And there's a light up there to light up the marquee. And so the marquee is designed in such a way to where the bezel is, there's a little bit of room. And it shines the light down in front of the bezel down onto the control panel so you can see the buttons in a dark arcade. It's just little things like that, folks. <laughs> little things like that that make games one up on the competition. Fire jump. All right, let's go. See, so it's so I'm at C now. Oh, so you can't just go balls to the wall the whole time, people. You got to slow down from time to time. Oh, the hell is that thing? Oh, so that one when it shoots, it blows up the road. Made the first checkpoint, people. Time to reach point E. Your time, 70 seconds. The average time was 80. Do you get that, people? I'm above average. I've broken a record. I have broken a record. Oh, the background changed. It kind of looks like the... Uh... Oh, I didn't shoot it good enough. The background looks like the bezel. Damn. I shot over it. Okay, we'll try it again. To continue. Oh, I can continue. Let's cheat. So, hell, I'm just going to jump over a bunch of them. It looks like maybe when you first start, it gives you a, a few feet to get, to get your bearings instead of coming at you hard right from the beginning. Oh, no! Instead of coming at you hard right from the beginning. Regressing, people. Will it still take my quarter? It will. Oh, you can shoot those bombs. Hmm. Antinomesting. Oh, 
<laughs> slid back in. Oh no. Great music too. Oh, it was too big. I, I shot it, but not quick enough. I guess you can't get it twice quick enough. Damn it. Damn it to hell. All right, we're going to keep playing. That was that was bad. Damn. You got to you have to really slow down on those big ones. second time to reach point j your time 157 boy that's embarrassing sorry no bonus people <laughs> do i keep going though i do oh shit <laughs> landmines people so i guess you need to slow way down to Ooh, that didn't work Mm. All right, we're going to continue again. We'll, we'll continue three more times. Let's see if I can get go fast and jump two. No, you cannot. So you got to you got to jump them individually, people. Well, if if I would hit the right damn button. Gotta get some speed and slow way down. Oh, slowed too far down. Mm. Now imagine you're a kid in 1982 and you're as bad as me at this game. You just lost one whole case quarter for that. I was doing so well. Point, to reach point, oh, your time, 129. Ugh, yeah, I did pretty bad, people. All that dying didn't help me. <laughs> Too much jumping. <laughs> Too much jumping, people. jumping because that way it's easier to shoot them you know what I mean you're getting closer to them damn it same thing you're getting closer to them so in my mind <laughs> that time I jumped into the bullet It. 
and new stuff. <laughs> new stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna continue again because it's just too fun, people. Maybe even twice. <laughs> Be careful with them shots. Look, they put me at the bottom of the hill. It's almost musical. Mm. Quarter was gone quick, people. One last time. We're gonna we're gonna continue one last time. I would continue more, but it's going to be pointless after a while. Damn it. hard to get out of the way real quick you know well there you have it people let's see if it lets you there you have it people that is Williams Moon Patrol look at the bezel thing I was talking about look at that so you're in a dark arcade it probably wasn't usually this dark let's see if I can turn on like one light fairly dark arcade very good looking game but all the Williams games were every one of them was cool and they were also very hard now I don't know if this one's very hard beginner course go it's hard for me but that doesn't necessarily mean anything <laughs> but uh, by the time you see this video oh look at that it's some kind of monster they stole that idea and put it in Mario Brothers Super Mario Brothers By the time you see this video, we will probably have already sent this back to Luke. So we might not have it anymore, but that's okay. You can see all the games that we do have available for sale. This one's not for sale. It's a friend of ours, but you can see all the games that we do have for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com, or you can stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina, and we've got a whole building full of arcade games for sale. Look at that guy sneaking up on him. Oh, and he jumped and then shot him from behind. We've got a whole arcade full of, I mean, a whole building full of arcade games. And we also do classic video games and pinball machines and jukeboxes and stuff like that. We got even a couple change machines in the other day and got some, uh, 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 you know, various stuff like that. We got a gumball machine, a bunch of stuff like that. So we're always working on stuff like that. You can stop by and see it all in downtown Rock Hill. Now, if you're not going to come by because you're way too far away and you don't want to buy one so you're not going to contact us on our website, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube and every time we get in something cool, even if we don't own it like this one, we'll film a video of it and it will let you know and give you an alert on YouTube so you can have fun with us. So uh, make sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring the bell and all that crap they tell you to do on YouTube. Why do they make it so complicated? You know what I mean? Why can't you just, you know, leave a comment below or something like that? Why do you have to ring a bell and subscribe and give a thumbs up? You know what I mean? They make it so complicated. But give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, leave your comments below, and we will see you on the next video. Moon Patrol!